guys have any favorite Bible stories? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Which one about Jesus? There's lots of them about Jesus. That's right. What's that? The strong one? You like Samson? Yeah? You like it when Jesus walked on water? Anything else? Anybody else have favorite Bible stories? Uh huh. Same one. I saw a hand over here. No? No favorite Bible stories? David and Goliath. Is that because it's a small boy who beats up a giant? Hey, come up here for a second. <laughs> Doug, would you stand up for a second? Should we reenact the David and Goliath story? I think I might have a rock here in my pocket and we'll throw it at him. You know? Okay. Thanks. I had lots of volunteers that wanted to reenact the David story down here. Yeah, lots of them, right? Other favorite stories? Do you have a favorite story? No others? What's your favorite? Oh, you love when Jesus says, come follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Do you ever get a picture of um, his disciples, like with fishing rods, pulling in people out of the water? Sometimes I get that picture in my head when I hear that. But yeah, I, I think that's awesome. Esther, you like the story of Esther? We did a play of that. Right? That was good. Noah's Ark. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, huh? Well, do you have any favorite movies that you like to watch? What do you like to watch? What is it? Babe Max. Okay, I don't know that one. Trolls? Okay, I don't think I know that one either. I'm really dating myself. I must be getting old. Any other favorite movies that you like to watch? The Lion King? I know that one. Can't remember? Okay, you think about it. What about you, Stella? Prince of Egypt. That's great. Oh, yeah. And you like Beauty and the Beast, right? What's the difference between all these movies that we watch and all the stories in the Bible that we know? What's the difference? The movies aren't real, and the Bible is real. Now, if you guys can't see the overhead, I want you to slide back a little so that you can get a good look, because I want to help you see that very truth. A couple weeks ago, I and a group of people went to Israel, and there we are. Aren't we a handsome group of people? That's us, and we are in Jerusalem. You've heard of Jerusalem, right? Do you remember Jesus was in Jerusalem and he cleared the, the, the uh, tables and he overturned the tables? That was right up on top. You see where that golden dome is? That was right in that area that he did that. That actually happened right over there. And we were all looking down there that day thinking about it. Next slide. And here is Marilla, and she's looking at a port named Joppa. Do you know anybody who went to Joppa and sailed far away in the opposite direction that God wanted them to go to warn Nineveh? What? Who was it? Jonah. Do you remember the big fish? Jonah went to that port. You see that little dock out there, kind of like that, somewhere right in that area. And he got on a boat, and he went the opposite direction, and the storm came. God sent the storm, and he told the sailors, it's me, it's my fault, throw me overboard, and the storm will stop. So they did, and a big fish came and swallowed him and spit him up. This is where Jonah left from. That was right, right here, Jonah left. Next we have, oh, this is called Caesarea. This is the synagogue in Caesarea. And Jesus was right in that area, right there. That's the synagogue. And Jesus cast out demons, and he healed people, and he taught all sorts of amazing things right there. Where we're sitting, we're sitting at the spot, right where some of the people would have been sitting who would have seen Jesus do those things. Pretty crazy, huh? But it's all real. What else do we see? Oh, it's a goat. Actually, it's an ibex with those big horns. There's some pretty cool animals when we're over there that we go and see them. And that one, that one came pretty close to the to the um, bus. Actually, we drove right by a couple of them, and they were really close to the bus. I don't think we've ever seen them that close before. What else do we have? Oh, that's Sandra hugging a pillar with a big smile on her face in a place called Caesarea Philippi. And right there, 
right behind where Sandra is, there's some remains of the Caesarea Philippi, and that's where Jesus was talking with uh, Simon Peter, and he said, who do people say that I am? And Simon Peter goes, so some people say this, some people say that. He said, but who do you say that I am? And he said, you are the Messiah. Amen. You are the Son of God. And on this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not prevail. Right there. Right where Sandra is with her big smile, loving that pole. Loving that pillar. Yeah, she did. She really had a good time. Next we have, oh, do you remember Herod the Great? Do you remember what Herod did? Do you remember Christmas? We talked about Herod. He did something really nasty. Do you remember? What did he do? He did. He killed lots of baby boys because he was trying to kill Jesus. Do you see that coffin? That's his coffin. They found that about three or four years ago. They found it. Herod was real, and he really tried to kill Jesus. All these stories are real in the Bible. Next. Oh, that's some of our crew standing next to a big rock. They're afraid that rock is going to tip over on them. But we got to see some beautiful landscape and uh, beautiful um, areas. And this is one of the arid places, one of the beautiful places that we went. Next. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to give you one guess. What do you think they're all doing there? What do you think they're doing? No, you can. You were there. You know what they're doing. Take a guess. Yeah, I heard, I heard one adult back here. She guessed it. Yes. And they're laughing rather hysterically. What, look at their seats. What's funny about their seats? What do you think, Sean? They're toilets. They're ancient toilets. They have big arms like this, and you sit with one leg on either side, and then you do what you have to do between you. And they're laughing because these toilets haven't been used in like centuries. But I told them after they all got up, they had to wash their hands. You have to wash your hands after you're in the toilet. I know some of you don't do that every time, right? You tell them. And I think that may be our last one. Yes. All those places that we went were places that the events of the Bible actually happened. The movies that you watch, they're fun to watch and they tell neat stories. But the Bible stories are all true. It's amazing. God did all those things, like David and Goliath, like Noah and his ark. All those things really happen. And so when you read the Bible, not only are the stories true, but the promises are true. Let's praise God and thank Him for that. Will you pray with me?